and Dino Cheeseman, Arudia Jones, and Caldwell for the Hawks. Dorn, Johnson, Bryce, Daniels, and Walker for the pack. For guys capable of finishing the game. As the team continues to try to come together. Johnson to Dorn, running baseline, gets it back and puts it in. The game's first field goal. 26 points against Bryant from last year. Dorn pokes it away. Walker scoops it up. Johnson up high for Daniels. In transition, Devin Daniels transfer from Utah going up high. It was the fourth leading scorer on a team that Kyle Kuzma was the star of. Back door to Dorn. Great pass by Wyatt Walker. Get some easier sets to be able to get some continuity. Got three shots, four turnovers. There's the first bucket. A.J. Cheeseman inside gets the Hawks on the board. Easting short of one shot, and then once they get the ball, they're trying to go out and create more possessions, offensive opportunities. You see Lockett with a nice move to the basket. He talked earlier today that he's trying to get more possessions off of his defense and try to make that pace a lot faster. Thunderbird and the foul. Five straight field goal makes. NC State preventing the dribble drive. Jones takes it, makes it just inside the three-point arc. Tyler Jones. Nice shot by Jones being able to realize that they're NC State with this lineup. They're able to switch all ball screens. That last time being able to knock down that jumper. Thunderbird answers. A couple quick buckets for him off the bench. Kevin Keats told the media at ACC Media Day that Beverly probably wouldn't play until mid-non-conference. But he's hustling on the floor, runs into the second row. Saves it to Helms. Got it! Kevin Keats says he follows that league because he used to be in it. Braxton Beverly is first bucket of the 18-19 season. Play these games so you can get the continuity and the chemistry. As you see Wyatt Walker come up with that offensive rebound. I love what Wyatt Walker does for them because he does the small intangible thing. Early season for the officials too. That's one of the reasons why I'm sitting over here with you and not out there calling that game. And Dino knocks down the three. And Dino's one of those guys that can't knock down that three. Some kind of rhythm going. It's been difficult because State's pressure and being able to extend them. Inside Walker, an easy bucket. <laughs> NC State, of course, had a tough one on Thursday night against Wake Forest. They'll be back in action. Dave Doran's team next Saturday. And Dino, teardrop. Rebound pinballs around. Cheeseman strong inside. Nice effort by Cheeseman. Short to only one shot. How about the answer from the perimeter? Torin Dorn. Harris sets up Beverly who fakes it. Lefty pass inside. Lockett embracing the contact. Lays it in. Who played 20 games two years ago for the University of New Orleans. Privateers team that won the Southland tournament. Went to the NCAA tournament things for that Evan is as you watch this lineup is that you've got five guys on the court right now that can guard all positions but lock it out there in Thunderbird they can do the switching they get up in you they try to deny you and force you make you uncomfortable they go max effort for three minutes and they'd all sub out Torin Dorn pulls up buries it dominating college basketball during that time was the head coach of Bethune Cookman for 10 years now taking over for the Hawks and He'd love to hit the reset button today. Get everyone, everyone involved. Again, Torin Doran's jump shot's looking a lot better. Love the consistency. You see Arudia be able to get to the basket for that finish. You know, you're up by this much. Look to get their numbers. You see a nice little pass over to oh, Beverly. Oh, what a follow. The point guard, Markel Johnson, and slams it in. It has been healthily dominated by NC State. And Dino knocks down his second three. Cardinal Gibbons High School, it's basically next door to PNC. The other Cardinal Gibbons High School that's down in Florida. As NC State continues to attack the glass. If you're Kevin Keats, how strict are you about the little things, the one-on-one -on -one defending, the creating the right habits in the second half? And I think that's one of the things, too, Evan, that will make them a lot better is that Competi competition makes you stand up straight. You see Torin Doran still knocking down the three. If anybody's ever played against Michael Jordan, will say that. Um, was there a fear? No, but probably the best 
Uh, T.J. Bryce inside, hooks it home. A, a, a given. He, he decided he was going to transfer, and then Keats reached out. Cheeseman feeling it. Well, I think also that he's energized this Wolfpack fan base because of the type of person he is. Uh, and I think that it goes into his players, as you see Wyatt Walker with a nice basket down low. And then Blake Harris reaching in, picked up his second in the backcourt. And Dino will shoot from anywhere and chose why. How about the strokes from Andino? Defenders are always in weak side position. And, and I, I like their energy. So that's an attainable goal. And I think that's something to shoot for, as you see. Helen's not down to three. Great pass by Funderburg. January last year, after the game, he got a scholarship from Tony Bennett to finish the season. Nice finish by Harris. He's the 10th member of the Wolfpack to score. And on the Delmarva Peninsula, looking up high. Going up to catch it was Funderburg, and then he picks up the assist. Credit Lockett with a two. 24 baskets for NC State. The Hawks peppering the offensive glass, and Cheeseman, the first Hawk into double figures today. Pretty good pass inside. Two more for A.J. Cheeseman. Obviously getting the ball inside to Cheeseman is one of those things he can say, hey, guys, if we run our offense, these are things that can happen as you talk about Funderburg and his skill set being able to, to pop out for the three. The rebound quickly to Harris. <laughs> Tough shot. Blake Harris. <laughs> NC State with some winnable games early on the schedule. Funderburg. Second chance bucket. I'm really impressed with him. And just in how agile he is. He hasn't missed all season. He's 8 for 8 from the floor in the two games as Cheeseman continues to do good work inside. Second chance opportunity, though. Johnson kicks it. Funderburk sets up Beverly again for three. Well, I was going to tell you, he's not going to miss many of those. Just an opportunity as Jim Fee challenged at the rim by Funderburk. Hung in the air, looked like he was going to go to Dorn instead of the last minute to Bryce, who on the drive throws it in. And Dino missed the three. Did uh, did Coach Cremens have anything? Do you guys have any traditions after a road win, anything like that? <laughs> None that I can I mean, he, he's nuts, <laughs> and, and <laughs> I've worked with Bobby. Is Brian, your thoughts on your Yellow Jackets last night, a big win over Lamar? Well, so how that you saw they say that? I mean, I, I was impressed last night with what they were able to do on both ends of the floor. Or Rudy or Coast to Coast. Like this, but in terms of being ready for ACC play, Auburn and Wisconsin will be much better barometers as Dorn as to his day. Now 22 points. Like Leonard asked him, what bus did you take? He said, the only one we could afford. <laughs> <laughs> On the drive, Funderburg in double figures. Cheeseman lost his dribble. And Dino with a slashing two. He's in double figures with 11. Your college went 31 and three for the Northwest Florida State Raiders. Guy that can rebound, can run, looking high. Helms for two. And then obviously guys who are graduate students that have played. And so Kevin Keats has been able to bring some guys in. As you see, Adino a, a with another three. Beverly, good luck. Why not? Lockett kicks it. Helm sticks it. 95-46. Torin Dorn. 50 points in his first two games of the season. And the Wolfpack are 2-0.